first of all, I encourage you to go out and walk through your garden almost every day. Just look the plants over, make sure that they look healthy. But then when you're looking for insect problems, you're gonna wanna get in and look a little bit closer. You're gonna wanna look at the leaves, see if you see any holes in the leaves, either small holes or large holes. Uh, maybe if part of the leaf seems to be eaten away, you want to turn the leaves over, look at both sides of the leaves, because a lot of times insects will live on the undersides of the leaves and you don't see them until it's too late. The small holes in, in this situation were likely caused by an insect we call flea beetles. The large holes may have been caused by a grasshopper or some sort of marauding caterpillar. Get down and look at the bottom of the plant because sometimes insects will start near the bottom and work their way up. These are some black aphids that have been growing happily and multiplying rapidly since no one's been paying attention. One of the things to look for when you're turning over the leaves is looking for insect eggs. Uh, often insects will lay their eggs on the undersides of the leaves. What you're looking at here is what we call frass, uh, insect frass, and it's just another word to say the insect excrement. The caterpillar has been eating on the leaves and then leaving its droppings behind. This is a ladybug larva. It's the immature version of your common ladybug. So not all insects you might find in your garden are bad insects. This insect is actually feasting on aphids that are on this plant. This is a swallowtail butterfly caterpillar. So sometimes you plant uh, things in your garden that will actually attract insects and this is one case of that. This fennel plant was planted here specifically to feed the swallowtail butterfly caterpillars. For more information visit your local extension office or visit our website at kansasgreenyards.org.